Lastly, I want to say a very little bit about different bases for logarithms. So far, we've been working exclusively in log 10. And that means that log x is a number such that 10 raised to the log x equals x. So we'll call this a base 10 log. It's a popular choice. Um, 10 is a pretty handy number to work with. But we could work with um, another number, a different base for this. And it turns out that a popular base is to use the number e. So e is a number like pi. It's irrational and goes on and on. That's its approximate value. And if you use e for the base in a logarithm, it's usually written like this, which then means that e to the natural log of x equals x. And this is called the natural log. For reasons which, if you haven't had calculus, should make no sense at all. So I remember in pre-calculus class, we had to learn about this. And everybody, and well, not everybody, the teacher asserted that this was a natural thing to do. And it actually seemed incredibly unnatural. Why would you ever want to use this number e instead of as a, as a base instead of this very nice number 10 that's so much easier to work with. So what's natural about e? It turns out that formulas in calculus work out a lot better if one uses e um, as a base for an exponent. So in particular, if we're interested in the derivative of an exponential function, and this is just a short aside for those who have had calculus, a reminder, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Super nice. It's a function that is its own derivative. It's its own rate of change. On the other hand, the derivative of this function is not exactly itself. The derivative of 10 to the x is 10 to the x with this extra natural log 10 term sticking around. So this is something that comes up in the first term of a uh, calculus class. And one goes through a more involved derivation than this. And then one suddenly sees why e is a natural number. If you haven't had calculus, e is probably not natural seeming at all. And that's OK. You can just think of it as another number. I mean, it is another number. And that people like to use as a base for logarithms. So this business about different bases for logarithms doesn't affect any of the properties or basic definitions that have been the main point of this series of review videos. I don't think the base of, the lo of logarithms is going to um, make a significant difference any time in the course. If it does, I'll be sure to call it to your attention. Usually, when one writes log x, it's understood that that's base 10. But sometimes it's um, actually the natural log. So it's a, it can be a little bit unclear. If any calculus is going on, people are surely going to work um, using e, using natural logs, but they might write them this way. Again, it's usually clear from the context. I don't think it'll cause any confusion moving forward. So this ends this um, review or series of review videos about logarithms. Hopefully this has been helpful. And um, you can always come back and consult these uh, as we do more with logs later on in the course.